Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what a flowchart is. A flowchart is a graphical representation of a procedure or algorithm in the form of a diagram, where a complex process is converted into a bright and straightforward method using a flowchart that makes it understandable. Now let's see some of the most important flowchart symbols. For a better view of the flowchart symbols, slides have been created using the presentation feature. The first symbol is the start end symbol and is drawn at the starting and ending of the flowchart. Next is the process symbol and it represents any vital process or step in the flowchart. And the flow lines are directional lines that simply depict the flow of processes from one step to another. Decision symbols are represented as a rhombus, depicting a decision point in the flowchart. Now let's see some standard flowchart symbols and their meanings. Starting with the people user symbols, which are used to depict people or end users that interact with the overall process. Condition yes no depicts a conditional yes or no logic in the diagram. The database symbol is used to represent the presence of a database in the flowchart. A stored data symbol represents any piece of data that is stored in the machine. This internal storage symbol is used to depict the internal storage unit in the machine. Sequential data represents the sequential storage of data in the machine. A direct data symbol implies that the stored data can be directly accessed. The manual input symbol represents a stage when manual input is needed. The card symbol depicts the presence of a memory card in the machine. A paper tape symbol represents the presence of punched or paper tape in the machine. A document represents the existence of any document. The delay symbol represents any expected or unexpected delay in the process. An off-page reference can be used as a connector for a flowchart on a different page. The control transfer symbol depicts the transfer of control in the flowchart. An annotation symbol depicts any comment or annotation. A subprocess symbol depicts a set of steps that can be combined to form a subprocess. Predefined process symbol depicts a named process that can be defined elsewhere in the diagram. The start symbol depicts the starting of the flowchart. The data symbol represents data, that is, any piece of content. The display symbol represents the display of data. A manual operation symbol is inserted whenever any manual operation is needed. The preparation symbol depicts any process or entity that is in the preparation state. A loop limit depicts the limit on the looping of any process. An on-page reference can be used as a connector to refer to a flowchart on the same page. Now let's see some expert tips for using flowchart symbols. To create a visually appealing diagram, consider using eDrawMax Online. It's a smart drawing tool consisting of thousands of graphics and visual entities. Flowchart symbols are readily available from the symbol library as shown. You can also import all kinds of symbols, icons, or other diagramming entities from any other source to eDrawMax. Now let's look at some examples of flowcharts. Under the template gallery, you can find many templates. You can readily pick any template and customize it to meet your needs. Select one of the templates from the gallery and import it to the drawing board. Now you can customize it to meet your requirements. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.